Hello. Right. Um, so if you want to copy, let's say, make a simple avatar using the what's it called? The Vroid Studio. Um, let's say you've made it and you don't know how to export it as a VRM file, which you can use in VC face. So from here, let's make me tiny. Wee. I'm tiny. <laughs> okay, so I want to put on my display capture, which and then this is VC. Where am I? There we go. Okay, so this is VC. So um, to use this, first things first, you might need to install a few drivers first. So under general, scroll down, and then do enable virtual camera, and then you'll need to lower the background. And then if you need the actual um, green screen, you just need to make a simple uh, background the same size as your actual webcam space. From there, go to either avatar selection, and then just click the add button, and then choose the avatar you have made. And now I'll show you how to actually export the so-called avatar you are making. So from here, so when you're, this is going to take some time, it's slow. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, so up here you have three buttons. You have the Yeah, it's taken a while, don't know why. Um, so you have the camera, this one, and then this one. Click the middle one, and go to export as VRM file. And then when that's done, click it, and you'll get into the screen you just saw me with. Uh, it's gonna take a few moments. So for now, <laughs> okay, from there, click the export button on the right hand side. And then fill out all the, the, the title, the creator, what version. Um, make sure it's only for creator. Da, 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 and then export it. When you click export, you'll get a save window come up. And then just title what you want, because I've got two so far. And then save it, and then you can import it into your VC face. So VC face is a free application to use for VR. VRM files and you can use it to run in the background while you're using OBS or Streamlabs or any other type of uh, streaming like XSplit. So VC face is free and it's quite simple to set up. You just install it and then you just go from there. Also make sure you got your camera configured. Also before you open OBS make sure you have VC face open before you do so. Otherwise, when you open OBS and then boot up VC to face, it won't work because it thinks you're using the camera for something else. So, I hope that helps. Ciao! Oh, by the way. <laughs>